April 22nd is the 45th anniversary of Earth Day. This year's theme is It's Our Turn to Lead. The organization Earth Day Network says a huge number of people have joined the environmental movement since the first Earth Day in 1970. Back then, about 20 million people around the world were mobilized. This year, more than 1 billion people are planning to take action to protect the planet. And the events will be large and small. In Plant City, Florida, a community garden is holding its first Earth Day fundraiser. The Plant City Commons Community Garden Celebration will be held outdoors. The event will include food, music, and workshops on gardening. But visitors can also shop for plants, gardening tools, and local farm goods. Artists and artisans will also display their goods for sale. Proceeds from this event will help support the garden. Garden President Karen Elizabeth told the Plant City newspaper that the group always wanted to organize a family fun day. In Washington, D.C., the Earth Day celebration will be out of this world. NASA is hosting a series of events on the National Mall and at Union Station. NASA is also celebrating an environmental anniversary. Twenty years ago, the American Space Agency and the National Science Foundation established the science and education program known as GLOBE. That stands for Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment. The program connects students, teachers, and professional and citizen scientists. They participate in science data collection by conducting real, hands-on science in their local communities. Some GLOBE students from West Virginia will celebrate Earth Day at Union Station in Washington. They are to present results from their research on water health at a West Virginia creek. In Thailand, participants will hold a workshop on the use of GLOBE research to control mosquito populations. Other activities are more physical. In Beijing, a hiking group will clean up and carry away trash along part of the Great Wall. An environmental group in Singapore will also do some cleanup, although its focus is the island's coasts. Africa is getting into Earth Day with events including tree planting projects in Cameroon and Uganda. In Lagos, participants will work on an educational campaign to teach the city about the need to cut carbon emissions. In Peru, celebrants can take part in a biking event. Others can attend a ceremony to start up a new wind turbine and bring a renewable energy source to a rural community. There are hundreds of Earth Day events taking place around the world. Many will continue beyond a single day. Are you doing anything for Earth Day? We want to hear about it. You can post your answer in the comments section. I'm Katie Weaver.